In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the women's final features the top two seeds coming in. Colorado Quandry and North Carolina Pleiades. The UNC women going for their second straight title. And Colorado, after the win over Carlton in semis yesterday, looking for their first national title. Will it be another Carolina coronation today here in Milwaukee? The dark side men going for their second straight title as well. Later today against Brown. It's a phenomenal start for Pleiades and Worth. They called that the turning point of the tournament. And a deep shot. Hanging in the air, Cleo Phillips, the native of Chapel Hill, runs it down. And Phillips to the end zone for Akane Kleinkampf. Teresa Yu lets it go, and Alex Barnett comes to pick it up. Veteran Rachel Wilmoth on the mark, and Barnett shoots it deep. Youngston Gaskell nearby, and Gaskell comes up with a block. UNC typically likes to have. And I know that UNC doesn't often throw it long. Oh. She does get credit for the block, and it looks like she's going to stay in the game. That's incredible. Barnett for you. That's bookends, uncharacteristically, with a face block. <laughs> so Phillips bluffs the backhand. Evans bouncing on the mark again. And the air bounce crosses the sideline, incomplete. Raider doesn't waste any time. Boosting it for Alana Holder near the sideline. She makes the catch inbounds. Connerly has Colton going. A couple Pleiades teammates in the end zone, and neither of them can make the catch, but Colton calls the foul. You see Wilmoth coming in from behind, making the D over Colton. Looks like a great block. Yeah. Coming to the observer, foul is being upheld. Oh. So it's going to be your dip. And the Callahan winner for 2022, Don Colton resets for Sydney Raider. And she nearly turfed it, but Grace Connerly leaves her feet to keep it alive and score the break. Looking long for Gaskill off the reset. Full extension. Gaskill comes up just short. A seventh place finish in the women's snowboard cross please, please, in the Beijing please, please, Olympics please, please, please. this past winter. There's a great block in the backfield. No mercy from Lostra. Two missed break chances this point for Carolina. Colton lays out in the mark. And then foot blocks! Oh my goodness! Abby Galat just got canceled by Don Colton. Looking for Worth, shy of the goal line. Back to Colton. The Callahan connection scores again for Carolina. High release backhand. That is an unreal throw from Akane Kleinkampf over that UNC zone defense. Cliff Phillips, one of three North Carolinians on this Colorado roster. And Wilmoth on the doorstep, and that's the conversion that Colorado needed. Youngston Barnett in the backfield, joined by Colton, who leaves her feet so effortlessly. Oh, Ella Youngst had a great cut, but a good mark on Colton, prevented the throw going up line. Quick little give and go, and Worth gets involved. And into the end zone. It's Galach swings it out of the reach of Kleinkamp. How they set up resets. First one isn't there, and Connerly unable to make the catch. It was smacked down. Kleinkamp the block. Looking to the end zone, and that was caught! Cy Lostra 
Wait until the last moment. Barnett, Worth, and Youngst in the backfield here, and it's Worth to a diving Barnett in the end zone. Never been unplayably strong. Correct. But usually a factor. Always about 12 miles per hour. Smooth offense for Colorado. To the goal line and the unmarked thrower. Cy Lostra dishes for the goal. And it's great downfield defense from Colorado. They're slowing UNC down. But are they just delaying the inevitable? Allie Riley has the goal. Wilmoth overthrows court right. The wind downfield is very unforgiving for those lofty high release passes. We have seen three fail to connect for Colorado as Bergstrom gets a D for her team. Six turns on the point, most in the half. Don Colton, are you kidding me? Colton's going deep. And that's more of a punt than a throw that had a chance to be caught. Colton, an ambitious throw, and Colorado is ready for it. Cleo Phillips with the block. Connerly on the mark. Kleinkampf with the disc for Quandry. Looking for Reed deep. Colton there defensively. Colton swats it away. Nope. Again, there were 14 total turns in the first 11 points. There have been 16 turns on this point. Kind of out of nowhere. Kleinkamp to the end zone. Colorado is within two. Carolina was in a tight game at half and then blew past Colorado 7-2 after halftime. Worth unable to make the catch. And for the first time since the score was one to one, Colorado has a chance to break. And what a turning point this would be. Into the hands of Stacy Gaskell. Looking for the inside flick, it's over Colton. It's floating, it's caught! Coming downwind on defense. Looking to tie this thing up. You can see the skip and the step of every single Quandry defender. Emma Williamson to Stacy Gaskell to tie the game. Barnett again hits Worth with the inside flick. Reed playing unbelievable sticky defense on Ellie Young's downfield, but Worth gets free. And Ann Worth takes it to half. The wind is making that Frisbee flutter just a little bit with every throw. Colton intercepts quickly for Connerly. Into the wind. Colton double teamed. There's a call on the field. Wilmoth and Colton have been battling all game long. 11 is subbing. Uh, it's coming to the observer. No foul. That might not be a foul by the rules, but there was contact from the front and the back, and well, Colorado gives it right back to UNC. Goodness gracious. And besides that, she has been playing just some shutdown reset handler defense. Well, Colorado has turned this game into a grind, and Quandry has tied it to start the second half in these windy conditions. I'd say the same thing about Ann Worth for that matter. Yeah, Ann Worth absolutely electric today. Back to Barnett. And Jungst 
somehow lost her defender in the end zone. They have a lot of their top players out there just grinding it out, getting more and more exhausted with every failed opportunity. There's a call. It's a stall. Looks like Carolina's going to have the disc here either way. Again, tremendous defense from Colorado. Big swing out of the reach of Milena Jojic. I'll quickly restart with Connerly on the mark. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. We are tied at nine. The officials started a signal goal, then they stopped. What are they waiting for? Here we go. Good cut from Ali Youngs to get free. And through the hands of Teresa Yu, gets it to Capra. Gaskill, not in yet. And to the end zone, it's knocked away. Worth to Barnett on the doorstep. This is a tough duo to stop, Megan. Worth and Barnett. The win was the difference there. And Worth defensively smacks it down at the other end. Worth making that next cut. Good defense by Phillips. Worth comes underneath in the tight space for the disc. And then miscommunication with Powell on the doorstep. More of those kinds of miscommunications from UNC because so often their offense runs on those tiny little passes. Another deep bomb. Rachel Wilmoth is there. Yes. Colorado Quandry ties it up at 10. Which basically means we're due here in the finals. <laughs> Defense on the underneath from Rose Bransford. Hecht, and it was tipped by Barnett. What are you seeing from the Colorado defense making life, life so tough here? Super impressed with Abby Galach on Ella Jungst. Step for step. Like she's glued to her. Barnett gets the assist. And it's Erica Birdsong. Carolina hasn't had the upwind huck in this game, and there's Colton with the underneath block. Out of the reach of Powell. Galach. And Raider got a piece of it. Galach telegraphed what look she wanted for the tournament. Colton was blocked on the under by Wilmoth, but she called a foul. And they rescind the call. After both timeouts, can Colorado finally finish this point? Reed is open, but the throw is behind her. Holder going deep, that's denied. Resets for Galach. Tumbling down Phillips to the end zone. Kenny there, Universe upcoming in the women's final. Brings us to 11 all, game to 12. The Universe line for Pleiades, Riley, Youngst, Colton, Yu, Worth, Powell, and Barnett. Quandry counters with Reed, Wilmoth, Phillips, Galach, Bergstrom, Gaskill, and Kleinkamp. Great switch there. Colorado's defense has mucked up Carolina around the goal line all game long. But this could be the winner. It's too high and incomplete off Colton's fingertips. Quandry has a chance to steal a national title away from North Carolina. Gaskill had it knocked away, but she called foul. Did Barnett get it cleanly? 
Okay. Foul contest. Powell on the mark. And that throw off the body of Wilmoth here in the women's title game. Alex Barnett to Ella Youngst. Trying to find a lane to squeeze it in. Barnett does it. It's a goal. And North Carolina goes back to back.